Yo guys, what is going on and welcome back to another video and as you've seen by the title today, this is the castle glitch. I'll be explaining everything today, going through a tutorial, however, you have to bear with me as there's only one of me, so I'm going to be explaining both sides from it. So there's going to be a lot of listening and demonstration at the same time, so if you can bear with, that would be amazing. As well as that, more glitches are going to be coming to the channel over the last few days, it's been half me because I've got the other channel going and stuff like that, and as well as this channel, so yeah, just kind of wanted to explain that. But apart from that, subscribe, like, and turn on notifications if you do like glitches and this is the new glitch channel so the other channel is now my main stuff where i do different types of videos however i'll explain that later on but apart from that you are here for the castle glitch and i'll be explaining that today within the custom game and then i'll go into a casual and explain some more further things about it which you will need to know so stick around for that so guys as you can see right now i am going to be castle so to do this glitch you need two people one of you needs to be castle and the other needs to go and be frost it doesn't matter who is who however that is just the way it has to be now what I'm going to be doing is demonstrating on this actual kind of doorway here. I'll also leave a link to the person I did see it off. It is in a different language, so it's a bit hard to understand. But what I gathered from it and a few other people who have helped me translate it a bit have basically just put it into simple stuff. And it is all about timing, which is the hardest part. Over also the last few days, the kind of glitch hasn't been really that well known within the game and it still does work because we have tried it with my friends. However, at the time of recording, I had no one to actually go and record it with, which is a shame, but it does work, so we know that for sure. However, let's just get straight into it. So to put it nice and simple, what you're going to go and do as Castle being yourself and have your Frostmate next to you, so you have to imagine someone's right here right now, as you go and place down your armor panel onto a doorway, you want to go and get your friend to go and place a Frostmate at the same area. What this is going to do is you both place it down and if you both place it down at the right time it should push you and that's when you start to glide because you should be like in this kind of position where you are placing it up and you'll be starting to float around and slide around because you've been fixed into that position due to the obviously fresh mat has been placed. However, if it's not done correctly, then you can just walk past. Then after you've actually gone and done that, you want to make sure it's fully there by replacing the armor panel, just so you get the full movement. And if it sometimes, it will go out of place. So you may do the glitch originally and you start to move around. However, you might not be able to shoot. And then you go and do like the actual armor panel and then it goes back to normal. However, that just is the case sometimes. It is all about timing. So that's the problem with this glitch. It's very hard just because it's about timing. So if I go and place my armor panel and I start to get obviously like the hover movement after I've placed it down and the frost is done correctly. However, if I go and place another one down or bring something out, then it might go away. Now, the only way to test this, if it does actually work and makes you invincible, is to get your friend to shoot you. So if I were you, get him to get a pistol or a kind of like C4 or anything like that, shoot in the foot so it only does a tiny bit of damage. Don't go and use a super shorty, which you can see as Castle I do have, because that will kill you. And look at the damage this does. If I go up to a wall and just go like that, that's created a massive, massive hole, which to be fair, is very, very efficient. I didn't even know this did that, which is perfect. So yeah, that is just kind of the basics and how to do it. But now the next part, you really do need to listen to because it is very important. Also guys, just to stop the video midway through, I didn't plan on doing this, I just want to say about this new channel. This channel is going to be all Siege based stuff. So this is everything I'm going to be doing in here, so it could be like future updates, patch notes, glitches, spots, everything on this channel. It's been changed from MZN Glitches to MZN Siege, because I think it's just a bit easier to do, because I can cover all content on here, and it obviously appeal to everyone. Also, the normal channel has been put into my own kind of personal stuff. So, the latest video was me making a giant cup of tea. So, if you are interested in any of that content, like TGF Sidemen, Will and E, then go over to the main channel and keep watching on there, because that's what I'm going to be doing on there if you didn't know. Right, so guys, now the important information which you do need to listen to. This is going to be the pros and cons and about everything about the package which could affect you. So first of all, we're talking about the pros, it's very simple. You're invincible, you're going to get tons of kills and everything like that. That is the pretty much only pro to it. And obviously you're going to rank up, stuff like that. So that's just one big pro. Like It's just going to make you really, really good at the game when in fact like you just can take as many bits as you like. However, talking to the cons, this is really important. It will affect your game and everyone around you if you are bothered by that. So if you're playing against other people ranked, then it's just going to ruin the whole ranked and this could be a possible bannable offense. Ubisoft have recently said within their kind of co Ubisoft have recently Ubisoft have recently commented saying about their top issues within the community that they are trying to ban people who have been glitching, lobby hacking and lobby freezing. So that and doing this glitch could get your account banned. I don't know if it will be permanent for days. I'm not too sure. However, they've said this will come in, in the next season. So if you do this probably glitch within this season, by the time you do it within the, like, the actual next kind of season, you might have your account banned. 
I don't think you'll get a ban for doing it in a custom game because you can't really do anything and you're not harming the game. However, if you're doing it in casual, unranked, ranked, stuff like that, I'm guessing you will be banned. And to be fair, I don't think it's really worth the risk. If you're really worried about being good at the game, practice. That's all you've got to do. Fit around your settings. There's tons of videos online talking about how to make yourself better at the game, what to do, different tactics, and everything like that. So that's just important. And yeah, I just thought I'd let you know about that because that is massive. Also, another con is very, very hard to do. So unless you are practicing a lot in custom game online to actually get it correct and perfecting it, it's going to be hard for you to do it in a ranked game. If you are really, really wanting to do it, it's going to be very, very hard because, again, it's the timing to take that doing the preparation phase. You only have about 30 seconds to do it, so it's going to be very hard to do it. And also, you will be missing out on valuable time such as reinforcing and just helping the other team. If you can do it and perfect it, then, yeah, fair enough. Like You're going to be able to do this pitch easily, and you're going to get three rounds win, and all you've got to do is go and win one round on the attacking, and then you've won the game. But apart from that, that is just pretty much it. I'm going to leave it there today. Make the video nice, short, and simple. And apart from that, if you did enjoy, yeah, leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications. And apart from that, there's going to be stuff on my other channel coming soon. So, yeah, that is just that. And until next time, guys, see ya.